is going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of our weekly podcast. We are batting practice. I'm Josh. That's Jacob over there. And Andrew is down below me. I don't know how it looks on your screen, but on my screen, he's down below me. That's how it looks boy, on my screen, and I'm recording, okay, okay. so good. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, but anyway, Andrew's Andrew's a bottom feeder, but we got a great one for you today. We are in the midst of the MLB playoffs. They've been awesome. I'm saying this as a Brewers fan. I'm still very heartbroken. But from a general perspective, the MLB playoffs have been fantastic. Uh, some of the best playoffs in recent memory. Um, so we'll be talking about that a little bit. We'll be diving into uh, what's going to happen, who's moving on, who's not, players to look out for. Uh, and yeah, so without further ado, boys, how are we feeling today? <laughs> you made it about 30 seconds before mentioning the Brewers. Ooh, mm, and yeah. boy, what a, what a change it's been since last Wednesday in terms of baseball. Andrew, I feel like you're actually best equipped here as you were at the game. And we got to give yeah. a quick shout out. Shout out to So Rare. To So Rare for hooking Andrew up, for getting him those tickets to one of the greatest games that Mets fans have ever seen. Um, Heartbroken, devastated, yep. depressed. Not a fan of baseball anymore. TV has a hole punched through it, and you were at the game, so you went home, drove home, and then punched <laughs> a hole in the TV. <laughs> How are we feeling? How was the game? The game, so I think one of the things that makes playoff baseball more special than I think any sport can compete with is no matter, there. there's no sport where a team can be up by multiple scores and in one moment lose that lead. In soccer, if you're down by two goals or you're up by two goals, that team has to score twice. In football, same difference. You have to score multiple touchdowns. Baseball is the only sport where you can be up by three run, two, three runs and have that erased in a single moment. As a fan that goes through that, it's one of the worst feelings in the world. Uh, where I was sitting, I was sitting in the right field and I had a partial obstruction view of the uh, of the bullpen. So I didn't actually see it go in. Uh, and as oh. the ball was flying, I saw the Mets players come out of the bull, the, the dugout, and they just had just the most just jubilation on their faces. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was just like, oh, man, that actually I thought it was a, I thought it was short of the wall, to be honest with you. Um, and it went over and this the stadium that was previously well, everyone was biting their nails because at the moment things did not look great for the Brewers, even before that swing. Uh, but in that moment, everyone just it was kind of a sigh of relief in a way where it was like, OK, well, I guess I don't have to worry anymore because the worst thing has just happened. Uh, but yeah, pure jubilation for the Mets fans that were there. Uh, I've been through it this week. I think I said I'm quitting on the Brewers and quitting on baseball. I've come back a little bit. And I think my solace is seeing the Frank the Tank videos of uh, <laughs> him going to his first Mets playoff game that actually did bring me joy I have no I at this point in time I'm going to declare I have no bad feelings against the Mets so just just one of them well yeah Mr. Winker uh yeah. he's the worst Met in the world um but yeah do... no bad feelings against the Mets don't get mad at Andrew because technically in basketball you can be down by two points and lose the lead. That's still one, one possession. Basket, one, one possession. It's, right, 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 right. It's, it's, it's still right, but it's on such a higher magnitude. Like scores in basketball are 120 to 120. Right. Um, right. That score in the Brewers game was two to zero. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's that's kind of where that lies there it's but, it's um, the it's the dichotomy of of being a sports fan of baseball like 
from, as you said, watching the the Mets come out of the dugout and probably the couple hundred Mets fans at the stadium, like 50, I mean, 50. I mean, what better feeling for being a fan than in that moment? And what worse of a feeling for Bruce fans? So it's just like here, opposite ends of the spectrum for both fan bases and teams. Um, it's why we love sports and it's why we hate sports. It's, it's definitely a love hate relationship. So funny, funny story here. Um, we're going to talk about some fungibles for a sec. I had, I, my favorite baseball card set that comes out is called tops, Allen and Ginter. If you know cards, you might know what that is. It's just this goofy set that has baseball cards, but it also has like celebrities in it. Um, okay. Like, for example, I have a Charlie Barron's oh. relic card. It's a flannel, a player worn flannel relic card. I can try and find it. Wait, did real he quick. wear it or did he a wear it? Wear and it? then they cut it up and put it into trading cards. That's awesome. Um, so funny. But I bought a box probably two years ago and they you're supposed to get like three of those relic cards or autographs or whatever per box and i didn't get any so they sent me like packs as a bonus and this is what i got in the back oh polar bear pete alonzo Times two. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I have some fire kindling for you if you want. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I was sent by Tops in the mail, Pete Alonzo. And that was before he did that against the Brewers. They and knew. I, they also, knew. Tops knew. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. We'll switch from no. fungibles to non-fungibles here. Oh, look who's the leading scorer in my team this week so far. It's yep. Pete uh, Alonzo yeah. with 24 yep. points. So there you go. He's a Brewers killer. He's the pumpkin killer. He's fueled by Grimace and polar bears. And yeah, the Mets are the Mets are something else. Okay. I I asked this off the pod, but we need to talk about it for a second, and then we'll get into actual podcast topics. But this will make a good YouTube short, I promise. <laughs> um, we talked about it for a second. But last night, the Costco kid drained a shot over all of the Knicks players. That's right. Carl Anthony Towns included. No, I'm kidding. Oh. But he did make a shot at Madison Square Garden saw it and they played his song boom i don't know if that's what it's actually called but <laughs> Probably. it's the boom song and boom. when boom. the <laughs> god stop when the mets walked off the brewers in their dugout they played omg by their guy jose candelita iglesias who is the better song who has the better song I think OMG is kind of a good song. <laughs> yeah, considering OMG topped the Latin charts, music charts, uh, I don't think the the Costco guys song is is charting anywhere in the world. I could be wrong. Um, I, as it's much as Costco, it, yeah, yeah, right. As soon as you walk in the store, that's what you hear. Is they're just playing it on the loop. Um, but I, I'm gonna have to go with with OMG. Oh my god. It is it is actually a decent song <laughs> for what it is, considering it's a baseball player too. Yeah, All right, so I, I think Costco OMG's guys got my vote too. Costco yeah. guys has 500,000 views on YouTube. Probably a whole bunch on TikTok. OMG has 4.2 million. Wow, okay, there you go. There you go. All right, speaking of Jose Iglesias. Man, has he been good too, or what for the Mets? He's had some clutch hits for them as well. Um, yes. He was the one who started off that inning. I think it was him where the, was it, um, 
I don't remember. They couldn't make a play at first. The Brewers couldn't make a play at first. And it was him yep. who like grounded out. And then he ended up starting off the inning that ended up uh, destroying the Brewers in the second game. Not that the last game. Or no, the first game. The Either first way. Game, yeah. First game. Yes. Jose Candelita Iglesias. I keep calling him by his nickname. Um, but let's let's talk about Mets Phillies first. And let's talk about why um this series has been and we're gonna cover all these series and we're gonna talk about so rare too and just talk about some over performers maybe a couple under performers and people you should you should look out for um me and nosh touched on this last week and we kind of nailed it we kind of nailed it uh we told you to go pick yourselves up for example a tatis maybe a little more expensive but if you didn't want to spend as much elaine thomas and nick castellanos they've all homered Every wow. single one of them have homered. Um, and Josh Naylor hasn't, but, you know. He will. He will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, day games Day games in that series are rough. Day Miracle games Park in Cleveland. During the day oh, my God. And Cleveland, rough, rough. The shadows are terrible. Uh, take the over on strikeouts for pitchers in those day games because, man. The shadows are rough, but what a great day today. I know we're recording on a Wednesday. I'm not sure if it'll be out today or not, but we have all four series going today. Four games of baseball today. Um, Yeah, leading off Mets Phillies. I'm going to throw it out there. I think the Phillies are taking the series. Oh, they're going 2-0. and I think so. And they're going for a little, okay. You, OMG, Grimace is dead. We just hyped it up <laughs> two minutes ago. I know. Um, I know. I think. The okay. Why? Tell there. me why. Who in the Phillies is gonna impress you and and bring them to life? I think it's up. gonna be. I think it's gonna be the pitching staff. Uh, Ranger Suarez is pitching today against Jose Quintana. I like Suarez better than Quintana. Quintana shut out the Brewers, but it is the Brewers, and Quintana owns the <laughs> Brewers. Uh, I don't think the Phillies will have as much of a problem with Quintana as the Brewers did. So I like Ranger Suarez in the pitching matchup. Um, I th- I think the Mets bullpen is actually uh, a little bit, it's underworked. So they have a full bullpen, which is good for them. But I think the Phillies pull it out because of their pitching today. And then going, looking at, it would be game five. You got uh, Sanga versus Wheeler. Senga did not look that great in his return from the dead, uh, from his injury. And Wheeler is is Zach Wheeler. He's one of the best playoff pitchers there is in baseball. So I think if they can pull out the game today, I like them a lot in game five. And I think it's going to be because of their pitching. Okay. Let me, let me counter you real quick and bring you to the game, the second game with Manaya versus Nola. No, that was the first oh, game, sorry. Yo. No, my, my counting is all over the place. That was yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um Manaya versus Nola? You would give that advantage to Nola 10 times out of 10, would you not? I started yeah. them in my fantasy lineup exactly. in my solar lineup. Exactly. And how many points did he put up for it? It's funny. He got 18. Uh, Manaya only got 30. He didn't have as many strike strikeouts are the biggest contributor okay. to Sower's scoring for pitchers. Even though Manaya pitched seven innings, he still only got 30. I think Wheeler and Scooball had about the same, but they each were 35, 36. So even though like, yes, you, you get that reward for, for going that long, but Nola was only 10 points behind him, which is kind of crazy, even though he pitched two fewer innings and gave up three more runs, which is kind of crazy. What's kind of yeah. cool with this, too, is this podcast is going to be uploaded uh, tonight as of recording this. So you will know, I guess, by the time the next game week hits, who has won the series. And you can pick up some of these players that we've talked about on both teams, no matter who's won one of these series um like nosh you're pretty high on the phillies even though they're down the mets are hot the mets so are hot. hot uh if you want to make a bet on the mets this is not financial advice because i already have one of these players in my team and it's the more expensive one 
but maybe pick yourself up a Pete Alonzo. <laughs> He's hot. The yeah. polar bear pumpkin man is hot. Mm -hmm. Maybe pick yourself up a Sean Manaya. He's looked great. He looked good against the Brewers. He's looked good against the Phillies. Those are two pretty good hitting teams. And I would say if you had to make a bet for the Phillies, Nash, why don't you why don't you go ahead and give us some Philly love as it's usually me first and foremost. But also, who who on the Phillies is going to like like specifically? You you've said pitching staff, but give me give me a couple players maybe. Uh, that you're looking at at the silver market. Yeah, um, I think I like, I've talked about the pitching staff. I think obviously Wheeler and Nola are going to be top two. Wheeler's probably going to be the most expensive. Um, but looking at if they can pull out the series, there are three, four pitchers. Um, looking at um, who did I just say is pitching today? <laughs> uh, Alvarado? No, Alvarado and uh, Ranger Suarez. Ranger Ranger Suarez. Yes, looking at somebody like Ranger Suarez could be a good pickup. Uh, moving on to the NLCS game, uh, seven game series, he's probably pitching at least once in that series. Maybe even in relief. You never know. So looking at somebody like that um, could be great. Uh, in terms of their hitters, nobody has been hitting that well for them over the first two games. We mentioned Castellanos. Um, he hit well in both uh, in game one. Um, so I think I'm going to stick. I'm probably going to stick with Castellanos. Uh, he's pretty cheap still, and he's been putting up some pretty good scores. Another player who uh, is a podcast legend at this point is Andrew's uh, favorite Philly, Bryson Stott. Um, yes, sir. He's going to be in there every day. He's, he's there every day, second uh, shortstop. Second baseman. Um, second baseman. So trade turn. Somebody, bro. Oh yeah. Duh. Everyday second baseman. So looking at somebody like Bryson Stott, um, again, affordable, has the ability to put up some decent scores. Hit a triple and an RBI in game two. Game time. Game time. So as you've been on weighing in on this, let me ask you I this. Didn't know that. What happens if the Mets win today, Josh? <laughs> then the Phillies are out. <laughs> so I everything think, you said is moving. Again, <laughs> again, the playoffs. Wait, the playoffs. The playoffs. I just had a realization here. Every game plays today. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, he said that. I yeah. said that. Well, sometimes and here. Come on, I brotherly myself? love. I you're don't from have Philadelphia. Here. Come on. No, I have this morning. I had to take my dog to the vet and he's good. We're all good. But then we had a bit of a crazy morning where like things just started happening slower than they were supposed to. Um, It's just been, my head's all over the place. Okay. Okay. Phillies Mets. They play today. I was wrong. I'll take the blame. What happens, Nash? Yeah, uh, so that's the trick about predicting the playoffs is it's really hard. Um, I think it is, and I could be wrong. I'd have to look at the market. I feel like you could get Phillies players cheaper than Mets players right now because people think the Mets are going to win this series. So if you're willing to take that risk that they might get eliminated in six hours from now, uh, then it's you might get a deal on some of those players that I've already mentioned. Now, yes, the uh, Phillies very well could lose tonight and their season is over. And that's just the reality of trying to predict playoff baseball. You could say the same thing about the next series that we'll talk about, uh, the Dodgers. Uh, we could have both the Phillies and the Dodgers out of the playoffs by 10 o'clock tonight, 11 o'clock tonight. That'd be awesome. So, I'd sleep soundly. If, I'd sleep soundly. If the Dodgers lose in 52 minutes, I will be very surprised. Uh, their game starts at at nine oh eight. Oh, I guess you're Central Time. You're talking about what did I? I said ten eleven p.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair. That's fair. PM, where you're yeah. at, where you're at. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. Yeah, last night I only made it seven innings too. So <laughs> that's that's just we're all over the place today. We came prepared, I promise. Um, one last thing I guess about Phillies Mets is um that. Whoever wins, or I guess, 
like what you said is that Phillies players might be cheaper than Mets players right now. And obviously whoever wins their price of their cards is going to go up. But I would say it's more along the lines of Phillies players might not be cheaper specifically than Mets players, but they're cheaper on average compared to their average card price than Mets cards are on average to their average card price. Does that make sense? If you had an so. S&P 500 of Phillies cards, that line is starting to dip, whereas the one for the Mets is starting to go up a little bit. But, for example, Bryce Harper is going to cost more than Pete Alonso, no matter what, I think. I think. We shall see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I should leave. Maybe it should be a duo cast today. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you know that... Pete Alonzo's floor right now is lower than the floor for Kyle Schwarp. So, mm. guys, wow. I don't think the market is pricing in the how these series have been going. Uh, people are, I think, uh, you know, when when we've looked at Soar and I, when I've looked at players to get for the next game week, I often do wait until the last minute or, you know, I wait until that final lobby where I'm looking at a player and say, Oh man, do I really, is my first baseman, am I happy with him? Or should I just throw, should I just go get a Pete Alonso and I'll do that super last minute. I think a lot of people think that same way where these prices of cards are not reflecting the probability that come the end of today, literally uh, Pete Alonso will be still playing in the playoffs. Kyle Schwarber will not. And to me, that matters a lot for in season versus past season since in season, if once the team is out, that's a classic card. It's not in season anymore. There's no more in season competition. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. But right now, guys, I was looking at it. Edwin Diaz, $6.50. Pete Alonzo, $10. I don't know. I don't think the market's pricing pricing this in uh, so much. So we'll we'll have to see. Uh, but if uh, the, the game starts trending a certain way come the seventh inning, Although I guess maybe for the Brewers, you do actually have to wait until the very last pitch. Don't be afraid to go ahead and pick up some players. Uh, but I guess, let me ask you guys this. How are you positioning your gallery so that you can compete for the next round? Because as, as much as it's fun to go all in on one team, the reality is if you, like my, I am no longer submitting a champion lineup because all of my Brewers are done. Uh, that was mm -hmm. probably not the smartest move on my part to go and uh, go so all in on the Brewers, like with my my fandom and my sower gallery. Uh, and I'm I'm kind of paying the price now. But how are you guys faring with with, uh, you know, looking ahead to the ALCS and NLCS? I I'm not going to lie. I bought myself a <laughs> Walker Bueller and a Matt Veerling. So. Mm -hmm spent about 10 bucks total both in season cards too wow. okay. um i will say that is including market credit so it might have been more like what's 25 percent more 1250 yeah um but still not that much uh i didn't have to add any money because i i'm a little sperm whale and have a little bit of money stored up in my so rare account but yeah i i did buy two players and were they a little bit of a bet yeah of course buying a player it. now no matter what is going yep. to be a bet walker bueller having him give up six runs because freddie freeman couldn't stand up and throw the ball past machado that kind of sucked he got minus yeah. two points for me i would have been better not buying a pitcher but That's crazy that being said I also did that because I was assuming the Dodgers are going to win and maybe yeah. he'll pitch again next round. But yep. now they're down two to one and they're going to have to make a comeback just like my Phillies are with uh, Christopher Sanchez and Alec Bohm and <laughs> ah, Bryson Stott. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So I've been trying to position my gallery around teams that I think are going to make it. Yeah. Have I been succeeding? Not so much. But looking at the market and trying to take these bets is a part of fantasy sports in general, not just so rare. Um, yeah. Like if you're doing 
DraftKings, for example, not DFS, because or Rainmakers, because that's <laughs> RIP. Uh, but if you're just doing normal DraftKings, <laughs> you're betting on the team that you think is going to win. Obviously, yeah, yeah. When you, <laughs> I, like, I started Nola because yes, I thought exactly. he was going exactly. to win against the Mets, and mm-hmm. that he was going to strike out uh, a bunch of people and give up no runs. Of course, like when you start your sower closer starting pitcher even position players you're betting on that player and that team to do well and if they team does not do well chances are you're not going to score that many so rare points that's right that's literally the game and um, what's cool what's cool about so rare is that you get to keep the card and use it again that's whereas true. you bet money and season. lost well yeah but you can use it to try and win cards too true Right. Um, whereas you not to call you out, but you bet money and I assume you lost <laughs> and you don't get to keep anything. Um, if, yes, you're right. If I you don't get to that, keep yes, Nola, you... you don't get to keep Nola as like a, I don't know, a reward. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyways, we're getting a bit off track, um, off topic here. Uh, we do still have three series to talk about so we can, uh, harp on these series real quick. And not get too in depth because our most important segment of the pickle is coming up at the end too. So let's stay in the NL um, and talk about Walker Bueller and the Dodgers versus the Padres yesterday. And that crucial throwing error that happened. You can be mad at Machado. You can be as mad as you want, but unfortunately it's good base running. It's good base running. You can be mad at him for things he's done other things he's done in the series. Um, I think the Dodgers fans are the worst, (laughs) the worst players in this game so far. I don't think it's Machado or Profar or anyone on the Dodgers team. Even Dave Roberts is kind of weird as he's been too. I think the Dodgers fans have been the biggest problem, but so rare. I, like I said, I picked myself up a Walker Bueller in hopes that they would do well. Gave up six runs in the second inning. Got me minus two points. Dang. If I was looking ahead, if I was looking ahead, I would, I would be, yeah, I'd be doing Padres. I'd be doing Padres players. Um, You mean Dodgers uh, look kind of flat. Dodgers look kind of flat. Otani's had one good game rest of the games he hasn't done much uh mookie hit a home run yesterday rest of the games 0 for 22 max muncie homered when the dodgers were losing 10 to 1 <laughs> <laughs> like that's some bryce young stats right there <laughs> <laughs> oh no how did we get panthers shade how did we get Panthers shade in the middle well, of a Dodgers? Padres Bryce Young segment? only sees the shade because everything's taller than him. So, oh, no. <laughs> jeez, it's the rust. Oh, wow. oh no! Wow, wow. Hey, maybe he could he could have a career as a baseball player. Hey, I'd go on the record if he's if he becomes a baseball player. I'm dropping Manoa. Uh, Bryce Young will be my sower MVP. I screw it, guys. If he does it. I'll get his unique. You have it on the record. I will buy <laughs> All right. his unique. Bryce like Young, it. unique. Yep. Uh, so our MLB card coming. Yep. Russell Wilson. I'll, Russell I'll take Wilson. NBA. Russell Wilson was a good but baseball player. I think he's going to struggle more in the NBA than he already does in the NFL. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah. um, Still better than Bronny, but. Oh. <laughs> God, the shade is crazy. Wow. We're going all the sports now. Any soccer hot takes real quick before we get back to the Dodgers? Nah, how about, how about, leading, how about uh, the Greg to the double, triple, dipple, G, Greg Burhalter is now going to gonna Chicago lead the fire. Chicago Fire to their, what, seventh ever last place? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. There, there's some shade for you. Okay. Give me as we did for the last series, some players that you're looking at. I, big fan of Tatis, obviously, but he's expensive. Big fan of Jackson Merrill, but he's expensive. Look at Jerks and Profar. Look at his price. And I think you'll be surprised. 
Um, obviously, this year was his breakout season, and it's not like he's like a 21-year-old. He's 20... He's 31. He's 31, sorry. Um, but his in-season cards, the last card that sold was $4.38, and that was on auction, so it might have even been lower if that person had market credit. Um, someone instant bought one for about eight bucks, but the auctions have been going for like five dollars. Jerks and Profar. There's one that it's ends crazy. in two hours and thirty five minutes. I'm gonna bid on it right now. Let's go. I like it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with him, and I'm gonna say honestly, spend big at pitcher. You're gonna as soon as like if you have the liquidity, once it gets to the latter rounds of the playoffs, you're going to want Cease. You're going to want, <laughs> you would think Aaron Nola or Zach Wheeler, if they're still around, you're going to want um, Garrett Cole, probably, if he's back. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. What about what are you guys thinking? I think Cease. I think Cease is a pitcher. Just... <laughs> You could you yeah, could go cheaper you, uh, with Darvish. You could go cheaper with King. But come on, as no, as not. much as I think the Phillies are coming back from down two one, I do not think the Dodgers are coming back from Me down two one. Okay, that's just your own Dodger hate. That's just no. Dodger it's hate okay. Right there. Okay, I will back it up with fact. Dylan Cease is pitching tonight for the Padres against nobody. The Do- Dodgers haven't even announced who's pitching tonight. It's TBD. TBD has never won a baseball game. He's a bad pitcher. So He's never lost a baseball game. That's true. But uh, the Padres are set up perfectly. They have their ace going tonight. You could argue Michael King is their ace. But uh, Dylan Cease is their ace. And it's at home. So it's kind of a... It's hard to say it's a must win up to one in the series. But if you're going to get a game in the series and win the series against your big brother, the LA Dodgers. It's tonight. Tonight is the game that they have to win. And I think they're going to do it. Um, So I'm going Padres and I like Dylan Cease as a pitcher. Michael King too is also a good shot, but in terms of their hitters, I got two Wait. for you. Wait, let me, let me hop as a Cease uh, owner. I think I'm required to throw some shade on him. Uh, Ooh, did you know in 10. his last five two ERA, outings, sorry, thirteen point five ERA in the playoffs? Yeah, were both great. against the Dodgers. His last game against the Dodgers, he had five silver points. All the way back in the regular season, his last outing was also against the Dodgers. He scored eleven silver points. Josh, great. I'm gonna guess he doesn't crack fifteen silver points tonight. I'm gonna who pitches for the Dodgers? Add. Who's pitching for the Dodgers tonight? We don't know yet. That doesn't exactly. Matter. Well, Yamamoto. But Cease is going to get shelled. Ooh, it's not shell. Yamamoto. Um, He's just the Dodgers are his kryptonite. If you go back, his last game was against the Astros and the Giants. He put up forty sower points in each of those against the Dodgers. He's not cracked twelve points. I don't know, Josh. I don't think this time. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. I'm not going to get fooled again. Yeah, I mean, so the Dodgers have started Yamamoto. He struggled. They then started Flaherty, who, um, let's see, this was right here. They started Flaherty, who Otani. also. Otani's so- pitching tonight. <laughs> Otani's <laughs> pitching tonight, yeah. So Flaherty gave up a bunch of runs. Yamamoto gave up a bunch of runs. And then we had Michael King versus Walker Bueller and Bueller also gave up a bunch of runs. Who's pitching for the Dodgers? <laughs> Joe Buck. Exactly. Joe Buck. No, I'm joining your train, Nash. Exactly. Who is pitching for the Dodgers? That's what makes me nervous. I think the Padres are better set up and I know Cease's stats against them haven't been great and he hasn't been They've great been in terrible. playoffs. But it's different. Guys, I think it's just going to be a bullpen game. It's just going to be bulk bullpen game they're just gonna that's throw what the bullpen. first game was and the dodgers did win it so this gonna be a bullpen game they're gonna kick cease's butt i think phillies phillies lose tonight i think dodgers dodgers win tonight 
Okay, right. Andrew, if you that. Andrew, if you are right and both the Mets win and the Dodgers win tonight, I yep. will buy a polar bear Pete Alonzo limited card on silver. Hey oh for the next Ooh. round. If you okay. if you parlay the, the two A or NL games tonight, nah, she's gotta buy a Pete Alonzo. I like it. Um real quick, Dodgers players I'm looking out for. Hear me out. Again, we touched on it already. If Freddie Freeman can make that throw, if Machado runs a little bit differently, that's a double play, most likely. Jackson Merrill's fast, but it would have been bang-bang either way. A lot less runs would have been prevented. Walker Buehler pitched all scoreless innings besides that inning. Gave up six runs. The Padres scored six runs. They won six to five. Maybe pick yourself yeah. up a Walker Bueller if you're betting on the Dodgers. If you're going pitching. Uh, hitting, they're all expensive, man. <laughs> Gavin Lux, I have his so rare card. He's on the cheaper side. Max Muncy, he's already hit a home run in the series. Max Muncy's a, a strikeout or home run kind of guy. Um, Kind of like a Schwarber. But... I would say if you want one of those lefties, that could be a good shot for sure. Um, of course, now we're going to start theorizing here. If the Mets won and the Padre or the Dodgers won, Mets would start Manea versus Gavin Lux versus Max Muncy. They might not get the at-bats there. That's a whole different topic that we don't need to get into. But I think that's who I'm going with on the Dodgers. Any objections to that? No, I, the only thing I would just say more generally is, you know, we're in the midst of uh, of the game week, which is going to close with the conclusion of these divisional series. So we will, going into the next game week, everything will be fresh, two new teams battling it out. Um, so I I agree with the takes of the players. The all I always caution, though, um, add – Add pieces that you absolutely need, but don't rush into it. Uh, but come seventh inning lead, or if you're feeling a little, uh, you know, excited, absolutely. All the names that you said, Jacob, Josh, I, I definitely think those are great ads. All right, moving on over to these AL series. Um, more games coming in these. These are only at game three instead of game four. We got Guardians Tigers coming up in about two hours. And then later on tonight, Yankees Royals. Um, both tied one one. That's pretty cool. We got Cobb versus Montero for Guardians Tigers, and we have Schmidt versus Lugo for the Royals this year. Uh, Lugo has been fantastic. Seth Lugo, former Padres player, Seth Lugo. Um. Let's start with that. Let's start with the Yankees Royals and pitching again. Hmm. Interesting here. Yankees pitching is. How would you describe Yankees pitching? <laughs> Who? Who? Confusing. <laughs> I wouldn't go far as to say who. But like I mean, their bullpen has been one of the most sketchy bullpens this year. Um confusing i guess but the yankees they've given up five and three runs of course sorry five and four runs um that's enough runs to win a game in the postseason they've only won one but giving up that many runs to the royals is is a little bit scary for the yankees and the royals i would maybe even give their pitching a little bit of an advantage even though the Yankees have the home field. No, they don't. They lost. Because the Royals them. won. Yeah. I, I, dude, I'm telling you, today's today's crazy. The Royals have the hammer. Yeah. Royals and they win, have the boys. pitching advantage. And they have the pitching advantage. Um, Yankees are always going to have the hitting advantage until baseball ceases to be a sport because they've had a hitting advantage since the Red Sox got rid of Babe Ruth. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact. But Bobby Witt, Vinny's back. We have Massey. Did you know he hit almost 300 this year, Michael Massey? 
crazy yeah yeah that's, that's wild um i think that's who i'm picking up michael massey if i'm betting on the royals i think that's who i'm picking up and any of the pitchers look at their prices they're not that expensive seth yeah. lugo cole raggins i actually have a cole raggins um in season card but i'll look up I'll look up Reagan's and his last sale price of an in season card. a little card, bit. Seven dollars. Ten, ten bucks. His his floor is ten. That's that's a little more than I was expecting. But yeah, if you can get one on auction, like Jacob said, mm-hmm. definitely. And with market mm-hmm. credit too, uh, maybe I'll have to maybe I'll have to put a bid on one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then let's look at Lugo real quick. Lugo, uh, his lowest price was. <laughs> He was one on auction three hours ago for three dollars and thirty nine cents. Wow, that's a um, so. There you go. If you're if you're a betting man, any of those pitchers, I would say you can't go wrong with Michael Massey. Um, now if you're a betting man and you're rooting for the Yankees and you also have a lot of liquidity. Judge and Soto are at their cheapest prices ever. Michael Massey, really? by the way, Michael Massey, one fifty, a dollar fifty. Oh my yes. god! Juan okay. Soto, Judge is eighty five. His floor is eighty five, uh, but his latest auction seventy seven bucks. He's not been having the greatest postseason, boys. Uh, he's not having his typical homer, multiple homer in games, carrying the team. Um, I, but like just like Pete Alonso, if he gets going, watch out. Yankees are to be feared. Yeah. So I would say you can't go wrong as long as you're okay with keeping a card like that in your gallery for a long time. If now is the time that you want to make a star tier purchase, Soto or Judge, go for it. <laughs> but if you're looking for a cheaper player for the playoffs right now, I would stay away from Yankees pitchers. I would look at the NL for pitchers. Is that a hot take? Yeah. No. Oh, except for Tariq Skubal. Uh, that's the only exception I give. Mm-hmm. Um, hear me out. You can get a Gene Carlos Stanton for like four bucks. Home runner bust. He was on our player. list. He was on our list. Yeah. Home runner bust player, but he might be an easy little uh throw in there. And then that's one you can use. Say next year you build a team of home runner bust players. Maybe it only wins a few rewards, but when it does, it hits. Giancarlo could be that guy. If he remembers how to run. Um, Still needs to run. Yeah. Any yeah. any other players? Any other players in this series to catch your guy's eye? Otherwise, those are those are I'm looking the, at. The one that caught my eye is Alex Verdugo. Um, he's been bottom of the lineup, but he's been one of the better hitters in the Yankees lineup so far. It's only been two games, so it's a small sample size. But Alex Verdugo right now, two dollars. So um, if you're if you're banking on the Yankees, that's somebody that I would maybe look at picking up. Um, and going back, the Yankees bullpen has actually been awesome in this series. The starting pitching has given up all of the runs. The Yankees bullpen has gone nine and a third innings, zero earned runs so far. So um, if the Yankees do make it through, maybe look at one of their relief pitchers. Um, I know their closing situation is a little strange. Um, Ever since I it's not him. not Clay Holmes anymore, but he him. did come in and he's been pitching pretty well out of the bullpen, not as a closer. So if you're thinking Yankees might take the series, which they could, uh, I think the Royals are a little better set up starting pitching wise, like we've talked about. But somebody like a Clay Holmes could be a good shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's been a lot better recently, for sure. Last What's but not a- least... Guardians, we're coming for I, you. Tigers, we're coming for you. Oh, my. I would say <laughs> in terms of hitting, this is the series that intrigues me the least in terms mm. of players to buy. Of course, long-term, Jose Ramirez, he's the man. You can't go yep. wrong with him. Um, Hitters on the Tigers, Riley Green? Riley yeah, Green. Long-term, yeah. Yeah. Long term, and he's pretty cheap. He's pretty cheap. New season card, four or five bucks. I mean, it's easy to say Carrie Carpenter, who yeah, basically won the game, the game two. So, 
Yeah. Carrie you can Carpenter see how much can't power be going he's got. for a ton. Hit that manual class A slider about 430 feet. Yeah. That he did. Yeah, um, I, I feel like, like a three, four dollar card Meadows. there, Carrie Carpenter. Parker, yeah. There's a couple. Of, I mean, if you're looking more the cheaper budget route and you're banking on the Tigers winning the series there, there's some good options in that Tigers lineup um, that you could pick up for, for relatively cheap. Now, I will say, of all of the series going on, this one feels the most random. Um, I, I I couldn't really tell you a favorite as to who who's going to win this series. I think the Tigers have the momentum, but the Guardians have a, a good lineup and good pitching. Guardians. So it's you, – you're going Guardians? Yeah, I think if Scooball could pitch every day, they, the Tigers are going to win, but sure. he's human. Uh, maybe you get two games out of him, but well, – Look at look at this series too. It's two smaller ish market teams. AL Central. Um, yeah. We have Dodgers Padres. <laughs> I mean Dodgers obviously, but Padres are also a pretty big market team. I would say very big market team. Yeah. Um San Diego. we have Billy. Phillies Mets, <laughs> huge, yeah. huge market teams. And we have Yankees. I mean Royals aren't, but we have the Yankees in the other series. So this is the series. When you say random, it's definitely more random in terms that there's not like that. You could say Jose Ramirez, you could say Tarek Skubal, um, but there's not that star tier player that, you know, has 10 million Instagram followers <laughs> and is known right. worldwide, I guess you could say. Like, you ask someone Soto. in Europe if they've heard of Otani versus Jose Ramirez. You ask someone if they've heard of Aaron Judge versus Jose Ramirez, Fernando Tatis versus Jose Ramirez. I think all of those three players are going to get so many more hits. Um, no offense to Jose, because I think he's fantastic. I have his Sower card. I have his IRL autograph. So, hey. And he's got a great left hook. He's got a great and left he's hook. Got a, he knows how to fight. Yes, sir. Sure does. Um, but yeah, I would say that's why you... Or in my opinion, that's probably why you throw out that like random word in the fact that the series is just a little bit more uh, obscure than the rest of them. And we'll see. And we'll see. For but sure. I still think Lane Thomas is a good get there for a hitter on the Guardians. Um, if you want to go Tigers, we've already talked about them. Pitching? Scooball. Scooball. Cy Young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's that, that that's it. <laughs> um that's all you can say. Still, if you want to go bullpen, class A, he might be down a little bit after that last game. You think his price dropped a little bit? Well, I think I might be the floor, boys, because your boy finished in twenty third place in the first round of Limited Pro, and I won a class A. Okay. And immediately wow. put him up for sale. So buy him. Nah, he's expensive. <laughs> he's expensive. He's expensive. <laughs> he's a he's oh, a fifteen dollar. He's expensive. Uh, reliever, yeah. But again, to your auction point, eleven dollars and thirty two cents. My God, lots of lots of. If you're willing to do right now, if you're if you're trying to buy cards and you're listening to this, do it on auction. Did don't, someone don't just buy? It? Oh no no I canceled it. I'm gonna oh, okay. I'm gonna lower the price. I was uh, like <laughs> I was like wait a minute the card just. <laughs> went off the market as that's I was crazy. I literally it. clicked that. Yeah, that's cool. Wow, that was, that was instant. But for those of you that are looking to buy cards, even though this this hurts me, uh, buy it from the auction. Don't buy it on the secondary market. If you plan this out, try to target those players. You will save money over time. Uh, but again, with everything developing, if the Mets do in fact win tonight, and you just want to grab that Pete Alonso and not wait for the auction, do it. No one's no one here is going to judge you. Mm -hmm. Except maybe Josh because I'll be frustrated because he has to buy one too. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think there you have it. Let me general so rare question. You think buying for the long term is better to buy an auction, but if you're buying short term, it's probably better to buy from a manager. I think the only or time I I agree with that. The only time I think it would let's say for example. It's you, you're you watching the Mets game live and you see a Pete Alonzo floor, even though if there are cards on auction, my guess is by the time everyone wakes up to the fact that 
the Mets have advanced to the next round, the floor price you paid for the Alonzo will be less than what his auctions will go for after it's confirmed that they made it to the next round. I think that's a little bit of a playoff nuance, but for every other time, buying on auction is probably the cheapest you're going to to pay. Yeah. All right. For sure. Especially well, there you have it. credit. Let's uh let's send a pickle and get out of here then. It's it's about that time of the episode for the I'm MLB pickle. pickle. And as Nash is pulling this up, next week, NBA is here. We are going to be talking about it. We're going to be talking about baseball. We're going to have recurring segments. We're going to have more of a structure to the podcast. It's all coming. It's not going to be a season three necessarily, but it's going to be a nice little just uh, refresh for the NBA season coming up. So expect some fun things, some competitions between ourselves, some competitions with you guys, some giveaways, some fun stuff coming. So MLB pick. Wait, wait, What's are we homogenizing? <laughs> we are homogenizing. <laughs> Bring it back, baby. Wait, uh, it, when it, homogenizing it, merch? When homogenizing merch? Oh, Ooh, I like that. I mean, I, I think, like that. hear me out. We got one of the cooler logos out there, man. We do. Sure. Shout out to Haley. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Andrew, while you were gone last week, Jacob and I did this only guessing uh, players in the playoffs currently. All right. I so like we're going to let's roll with that again. We talked about a lot of people today. We talked about all players in the playoffs, but I still have Emmanuel Class A up on my screen. So let's go. Do it. Right. Like let's that. do it. I'm looking at his face too. Ooh, okay. NL okay. Or NL Central. Well, hopefully There's it's no not NL, NL Central, Central teams. <laughs> There's no NL Central teams. Okay. So if it's, it's the AM. NL Central, we're in big trouble. We're going to have to narrow it down by like position and. Okay, okay, so righty righty, maybe, it could be, it could be, uh, uh, maybe it's Garrett Cole. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like it. I like it. Send a pitcher. I th- oh, 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 it's no. the NL, the NL Central. Central. Okay, it could be Brewers. It could be Brewers. It's not a pitcher. Okay, we well, we still this. have to guess playoff te- playoff right. people until the very last guess. Right. So let's see if we can okay, get the. Okay, so what do we want to narrow down? The position. About his age. His age. Is it like- age? So let's guess someone younger. Let's go with like Jackson Merrill. Yeah. Yeah. Is that way you can see if it's like a Chirio? Yeah. 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 Okay. He's okay, young. So it's okay. Younger? Okay. So one okay. of our young. Let's not see a if center it's, fielder. Let's see if we can get a position. It, it's not a starter reliever. Righty righty from the USA. How old? Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm just going through the NL Central, starting with the Brewers. It could be. Uh, is Joey Ortiz? Uh, that was USA? also thinking about Joey yep. Ortiz. Just so let's base. guess search, his, search his name. Oh, let's go to Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh shoot! Okay, okay not at their basement. basement. Okay, let's see. So it's probably could go think... like. Mm. So it's either so it could be younger, but it also could be like 22, 23. Yep. It's well, it's probably the Reds it, have it is so 22. many young players. I know the Reds, I'm thinking Reds too. Oh, is Henry yeah. Davis in this list? Isn't okay. is Henry Davis a righty? Has he made a yeah. Has he made a debut? Is he? I think we should be able to look up the player just to see if they're in the system. Okay. I think that's fair. Look, look, Henry Davis. Okay, he's in. He's twenty five. <laughs> okay, you know what? Old. Guess him. Guess him. He's a catcher. Oh no no no! Oh no, no, no we no. can't. Guess, we should guess, guess a catcher. Guess, guess real guess Alvarez. Let's go with Alvarez on the Okay Mets. okay. Frankie. And we can see if he's twenty two. Okay, okay, so twenty two and not a catcher. And not a catcher. So we have left field, right field, second base. Shortstop, first base. Okay. There's there's Christian Encarnacion Strand. I, I don't it's know gonna if be... he's from the USA. He's on the Reds. I feel like it's going to be an outfielder. Yeah. Um, let's try. Let's try Soto. Michael For Bush right is a field. lefty. Yeah. 
Juan. <laughs> Not Livian. Okay. Oh, right right fielder. fielder. Huge, okay. huge. Okay. Okay, right so right ready USA 22 right fielder in the NL Central. It's not the it's not the Brewers. It can't be because Freelix a lefty. Is Pico Armstrong a lefty? He's a lefty. He's a lefty center field. Yeah, like who's I couldn't Some even pirate, tell you the Cubs pirates, right fielder. Pirates. Anyone? It's a young, young guy. Cart who's walk Jordan Walker? Oh is not a right fielder. What position does he play? Short third base? Short third side? base. Right fielder on is it um there's like think... there's like random <laughs> yeah, players I'm thinking of, of from top. I think I think like we're allowed Smith I think we're... in Jigba. We're allowed... There's Christian <laughs> Encarnacion team. Strand. Um, I think we can do a team. I think we're allowed two team guesses. See if we can get the team. So we think it's Reds? I would say odds are it's either Reds. God, who played right field for the Pirates this year? Or the Cardinals? It's funny. Once you're out of the playoffs... I know these teams are have been irrelevant. We we the did NL also have is irrelevant. call ups. We had call ups too. Is the problem? Try oh Jordan. God. Let's 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 try try your try your Mister Walker. Let's see if we can get. No, he's not right. a right. He is a right fielder. Oh, he is. He is. I thought so. Is that it's is that it. we're going? Let's, we gotta go yeah, with him. Let's right? send it. Yep. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Oh. Okay, let's go. I swear, I Jacob, swear. You gotta buy a silver card. I think you gotta <laughs> you gotta pour that salt. He might have been card. brought up as an infielder and then they moved him to the outfield. His silver card is an outfielder. He was brought up as a third baseman. Let me let me just I think third base outfield. You. I think he was I will split. prove to you on baseball reference that he was a third baseman so that I, I think you gotta uh, add him I your, don't your have gallery. to buy his card. No, because he sucks. He's never gonna be in the big leagues again. Oh, I'm not collection buying a, bonus. <laughs> collection. Um, that that might be untrue, but he did not have a good year this year. He batted two hundred one. Yeah, he was in the he, minors for a lot of the year. Where's defensive stats? Standard fielding, standard fielding position. Um. Nope, you're right. He only played left field and right field. I'm just an idiot. All right, bring him to your gallery. It's been, it's been a rough podcast Woo! for me. It's been a rough podcast <laughs> for me. Well, gallery, that's all right. Gallery. That... Or, or fungible. Or fungible. Whichever Ooh. one you want to choose. Fungible is probably way more expensive than really? non. His, you can get his, his uh, in-season card. There's uh, 378 with, and then that's not including market credit. Instant buy. There you go. 284 with market credit so oh there you go all right maybe you have to give that to nosh i think <laughs> you can i think i have that same card uh anyway there you have it jordan walker um not as good as last week's pickle but still we got there in the end that's what matters um we hope you enjoyed the podcast leave a rating wherever you are listening don't forget to check out the socials go subscribe to the youtube and until next week you just attended batting practice. Now you're ready to get in the game. Peace. Peace. Peace.